A Northeast Ohio mother is turning her family's pain into purpose. She's providing hope to people throughout the country who have children with medical complexities and showing that they're not alone. News 5's Jesse Schultz takes us to Wayne County now to meet an inspirational little girl and her tenacious mother. Emily Whiting does not take the little things for granted. Things like sidewalk chalking with her kids. Should we write our names on our house? Or a push on the swing. Because nearly six years ago, she sat in this very backyard, not knowing if she would get the chance to experience the little things with her now oldest, five-year-old Charlotte. Hearing t-balls and kids giggling and just thinking, you know, the world keeps going, but ours has stopped. At just 20 weeks in utero, she found out that Charlotte had anomalies from head to toe, including her brain, heart, kidney, liver, abdomen, and a cleft lip. We walked out of there not knowing an overarching diagnosis, but knowing we were um, in for the fight of our lives and for our daughter's life. And fight they did. Charlotte underwent her first surgery at just five days old. I don't know that the doctors knew what odds to give her. By three months, she had five surgeries. Every time I would push for a prognosis and a, you know, how's this gonna turn out, I would get the answer, We'll see. We, we don't know. The frustration of not knowing for so many years brought Emily closer to other parents in the same shoes. Parents who have walked the same walk. She began to share her story on social media, podcasts, and in her book, She is Charlotte. It's one thing to have people feel for you. It's a whole nother thing to have people feel with you. And in telling her story, Whiting found that parents and caregivers with medically complex children were listening. And in that realization, the nonprofit Charlotte's Hope was born. With the goal of helping parents, you know, learn how to advocate for their kid and know that they're not alone. Connecting families throughout the country. In this world of rare medical complexities, um, parents needed to be coached and, and learn and, and, and gain the confidence and empowered to truly advocate for their child. And while Charlotte will undergo her 17th surgery in just a few weeks, the Whitings finally received news they had hoped for for years, a diagnosis. She was um, identified as a heart car syndrome patient. And ironically, there are about nine cases that are reported throughout the world. A diagnosis that comes with uncertainties. Nothing Whiting isn't used to, but what she is certain of, Charlotte will make a difference. And in the meantime, well, she's just happy enjoying the little things. 17 procedures in five years, but the amazing thing is she's walking, she's talking, she's running, she's dancing, singing, acting like she's a mom with all her baby dolls. She's a five-year-old. She's a five-year-old. Reporting for News 5, I'm Jesse Schultz.